Hi, thank you for listening. I want to do a, a quick rundown of my favourite games of the year. Why? Well, everybody else is doing it. Why can't I do it? But uh, this year has been mm, not the best for games, for new releases. I've actually been playing more emulator games, you know, play, PlayStation 2 games and stuff. I'm playing Kingdom Hearts right now. Um, but there's still been a, a good few new releases that I liked, but most have just not really appealed to me. Um, so I'm going to go down, but first I want to give a special mention for a game and my worst game before I go through my top five, right? So the special mention goes to Super Mario Maker, which just came out recently. Um, can't really put it in my top five because it's not really a game. Uh, you make your own Super Mario levels, ranging from the first Mario Brothers to... I think it's the, I can't remember the names of them all, Super Mario 3D World, no, 3D Land, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> up to the one of the, the recent 2D Wii U games. And it's really good, it's great, uh, especially for parent and child. Because I, 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 I do it with my son where I'll make a level and say, right, see, you try and beat that. And then he'll make a level and get me to try and beat that. And of course his levels are usually really hard because he sticks rather than just putting one Goomba there he'll stick 15 you know <laughs> he's seven give him a break but uh, it's a great game great game for um crows and uh for parents and children to play together and of course you get unlimited levels from other people most of which are crap but you have to give a bit of leeway because you know that most of these levels are being made by children so you got to give them a bit of a break but there's some good ones yeah but i can't really call it a game because you don't it's not like you get it and you can just go right i'll go from the start to the end done it's not like that you, you need to make your own levels but it's great it's a, a great wee game i would definitely recommend that for uh, a family game you know definitely recommend that uh, the worst game right of the year uh that came out this year all these games came out this year the worst game for me was Batman Arkham Knight, right? Now, I liked all the other, the previous Batman games in the same in the same series. I loved them, actually. Fantastic, right? So much so that I actually pre-ordered Arkham Knight. One of the biggest regrets of the year, easily, right? Um, the, the reason I like Batman games so much is it's the, the fighting's good, uh, all the characters are in it, the voice acting, tremendous, the music, brilliant. And basically, you get to play as Batman, right? And it's just it's just great fun. Then Arkham Knight comes out. And, uh, well, they changed it from playing as Batman to playing as the Batmobile, which is shit. It's, it's as if the wheels are made of butter. It can't, it doesn't drive very well. Uh, it's completely rubbish and it's it's shoehorned into every mission to the point of frustration, right? Um, where uh, in previous Batman games it'll be, say, there's three guys behind that, that wall and it'll be right, okay, so I'll go under a vent or I'll go over the top in the roof or I'll crash through the window and I'll beat them up. No. Not an Arkham Knight, no, no, no. There's three guys behind that wall. Great, how do I go about it? You'll need to get the Batmobile to break the wall down. Oh, for fuck's sake. Right, okay. Right, there you go, right. I've broke, I broken the wall down. Right, now I can beat them up. No, 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 no. Uh, you need a remote control, use the Batmobile to shoot them with rubber bullets or something. It's, what can I get? I thought this was Batman. Wasn't this, isn't this game called Batman? Not the Batmobile. And it's shoehorned into every fucking mission. It would then it go now. Oh, you need to go down that that uh, lift all the way down to the bottom, and there's a switch down there or something, right? Excellent, right? So we'll just go in the lift and go down, or we'll climb down. No, you need to get the Batmobile. Oh, for fuck's sake! And you'll need to get the Batmobile to hook onto the lift and lower it down for you while you remote control it from the lift, you know? And and it's like it it turns like two minute. Uh, missions or you know into 20 minute missions you know go down and break those three fans okay I'll, I'll do that so how do I do it oh you need to go in that room and pull the switch and that'll turn the fan off brilliant so will I glide over no you need to get the Batmobile fucking oh, for fuck's sake man it's just it really ruined the game and it came to this point where uh, 
for some bizarre reason you're underground, right? You know one of those big giant fucking machines you get to uh, bore holes under the ground, right? To bore tunnels, right? Uh, and you're fighting against the bad guy who's in one of those machines and you're in the fucking Batmobile again. And, and the, the mission, it's a boss, it's a boss fight. And the mission is you have to... Um, like outrun this big tunnel boring machine which I've never driven a tunnel boring machine but I know just with knowledge that they're slow as fuck right not in this game they're not you're in the fucking Batmobile going at top speed you look behind you it's right there right fucking there and you can't get away from it one touch dead so I, I came to this bit in the mission and I tried it about and you, and you need to go through you need to drive through these kind of you know, loops and upside down and dodge all the obstacles and make the certain jumps before you can actually beat this guy. Three times you need to do it. Uh, and it, it's, it's just so frustrating because this machine, which should not be able to go over two miles an hour, seems to be able to go 200 miles an hour for some bizarre reason. Uh, even though you're in a fucking Batmobile, it can still catch you. Uh, right, so I got to that mission, I tried it probably about a thousand times before I wanted to uh, smash my computer up and I, I haven't put the game on since, I didn't do it, I couldn't do it, you know, I just, I could not do this mission and the thing about the game is as well is when you go into a mission like that, it's not like you can go, right okay, I'll come back to this later after I've, after I've levelled up a bit, you know, maybe get used to it a bit more. No, you're stuck. That's you. It all saves. You're stuck in the mission. And the only fucking way out is to fucking do the mission in a fucking Batmobile with butter wheels that can't fucking grip for shit, can't drive for shit, and for some bizarre reason can't even go faster than a fucking tunnel boring machine. Fuck off, Batman Arkham Knight. Worst game of the year. Very frustrating. Anyway, on my top five favourite games of the year, right? Uh, in order, number one's the best, right? But number five goes to Fallout Shelter on the iPad, right? Or other tablet device that you may have, right? Uh, Fallout Shelter is just... It's one of those games... I don't usually play these kind of tiny tower games. I don't, I don't play games like that, but it was Fallout. I love Fallout. I thought, okay, I'll give it a go. It was free. <laughs> I'm Scottish, come on, give me a break. Uh, it was free, right? So I thought, fuck it, I'll give it a go. And uh, I said, right, okay, let's see let's see what this is uh, at 2 o'clock. Uh, ah, that's, that's, that's quite good. Oh, look, it's midnight. Oh, dear. Where did the day go? One of those games, you know. Uh, and I ended up building a, a top-quality vault, uh, having too many fucking... Uh, dwellers, to be honest, because uh, it started to slow the iPad down, you know. It's an old one. And, uh, and I was really enjoying it, but it doesn't go any higher than top five for me because they fucked up. They done fucked up, right? They updated it, right? I go, oh, it's been updated. Excellent. There we go. Right, I'll update without reading what's in the update first. I'll just press the update button. Big mistake. You see, you can't go back. That's what's dead annoying about these games on the iPad. If you update and you don't like the update, it's not like you can go, eh, can I cancel that update and go back to the way it was? It doesn't work, right? But what they done was um, they added uh, Death Claws. Oh, great. Uh, as I say, I had about... I had to get rid of some of my dwellers because they were slowing the iPad down. So I had about 80 dwellers in my my vault. I was doing well. I had all the, all the things. I even get Nuka-Cola rooms built and everything. I was doing really well. Uh, and then they updated it with Death Claws. Brilliant. So I put it on. Within one minute of putting it on after the update, Death Claws attacked my vault. Now I'm down to, what, 50 dwellers from 80? Thanks for that. Really appreciate that. I put the game back on again. thought, right, I'll try and sort this mess out. Within another minute, another Death Claw attack. Now I'm down to about 30. And it's like, these people were armoured, they had top guns, they were, they were well, well capable of defending themselves. But the Death Claws, swipe dead, gone, uh, wiped out uh, most, of my, most of my vault, and I haven't been back since. It just, it's one of those games where I was really enjoying it, really getting into it, loving it. Even though it can get repetitive, it was just it was still really good, it kept you coming back until they introduced Death Claws. And then every time you put it on, you get a death claw attack, which just is just 
beyond frustrating. So I didn't go back to that. So that's why it only gets the number five slot. Number four goes to uh, Fallout 4. Uh, out quite recently. Already completed it twice. I'm wanting my third playthrough. It's really good. I like it. It's a def I would definitely recommend it. But it's too similar to the other games. And I know that sounds daft. Because I just complained about Batman not being similar. <laughs> but it's like... It's basically Fallout 3, New Vegas, with a coat of paint. That's what, that's what it is. Really. There's not much being added to it. These games usually add something new, maybe, you know, take it somewhere else. But it's, it's still good. It's still a good game, but the, they changed that much in it uh, with with the, the dialogue options and stuff, you know. But at the end of the day, it's still just the same, you know. Um, but I only put it at number four because I really like Fallout. So I suppose, see, I, I would probably have complained if they changed it. I mean, if they changed it and went Fallout 4 and now with the Batmobile, oh, fuck off. Just fuck off. But no, they've, they've got these um, power armour, you know. I suppose that's the, their Batmobile. Uh, and I never used it throughout the entire game. I've I've never used it. It's just rubbish. I only use it in the one mission where you have to use it. But apart from that, as soon as I got it, I jump out of it. I don't like it. It's crap. It's rubbish. Uh, the building, the the areas. You know, you get your wee area. You can build like wee houses and stuff like that. Crap. You know, it's just not for me. You know. Uh, good thing about it is there's no level cap. So uh, I'd still recommend it, but. If you if you got bored of Fallout pretty fast, you won't like it. It's because it's not much different from the other ones. You know, you would think being in a completely different area of America, maybe they'd have they would have had you know different uh, like monsters and all that kind of stuff. But it didn't. It's just kind of the same as Fallout Three in New Vegas. Same kind of monsters and yeah. But I'd still recommend it as I say. But not worth the other one, number one spot. Number three, I would give to Lara Croft Go on the iPad again. This is one of these games where you can play it with one finger, right? And that's, to me, that's what, that's what I, I, iPod, iPad, iPhone games should be. You should be able to play them with one finger and, you know, you get, because you do get these other games on that, the iPad, like Grand Theft Autos, and it's hard to play them. You know, there's that much to do, you know, turn left, right, in the car, out the car, brake, accelerate, and, and it's like, it shoot this way, shoot that way, oh, it's too much. For a fucking touchscreen, it's too much. You need a controller for that stuff. Uh, so I'd give it to Lara Croft Go. You basically get one room, you need to get from A to B uh, in puzzle form, you know, move one move at a time. And, and it's just, it's just well thought out. It's similar to Hitman Go. Uh, but this one, I think it's better. Lara Croft goes better. Um, and it's it's just one of those ones that keeps you coming back. You, you keep coming back for more. You torture yourself. You get stuck on something and, and you you keep coming back for more. Right, I'll do it this way. I'll kill that snake first. And then I can kill that one. And then I've got there. Yes, that's it. And then you try that and it's like, oh no. I forgot you can't face them that way. You can't go one square in front of the snake. Oh fuck. And you have to go back and try it again. So you end up doing the same level over and over. But it's but it, it's not to the point of being frustratingly annoying. It's actually quite enjoyable. So number three, Lara Croft Go. Number two, I would give to... Surprise myself with this one. Because it didn't get number one. But it would be Grand Theft Auto V. The PC. Uh, although that's a few years old. It came out for the PC this year. And uh, it is just... I don't know what, what I can say about this, but that hasn't already been said. A fantastic game. Uh, it's just that the, the map is so many different areas in the map. Wherever you go, there are, there are pedestrians and uh, NPCs just doing their own thing. Wherever you go, a lot of these, a lot of these games you get areas where just nothing happens, you know, it's just loads of grass and trees and loads of roads, with, you know, and nothing really happens. But in this, there's the, the the random number generator thing is good in it, the pedestrians doing their own thing and the talking, you can, you can just walk about and you can listen to the pedestrians saying stuff and it's always funny, uh, talking on their phones and stuff, it's really, really good. Uh, they don't 
the people who make Grand Theft Auto are like the complete opposite of PC-ness, you know, they don't give a fuck. They don't care who they offend, they, they, well, even though they did remove the Confederate flag. But then I imagine it's because they know a lot of black people play it and they don't want to get, go down that road. Uh, but they, they don't care who they offend when it comes to sexism, racism and stereotypes and all that stuff. It's really funny. And of course the gameplay is, is just top notch. The best gameplay in a Grand Theft Auto game so far. Um, if only they had that in San Andreas. But still it's a good, it's a good um, replacement for, for San Andreas. Uh, no gang system, but still, it's still good, uh, and I highly recommend the Grand Theft Auto V, and the good thing about Rockstar is, they keep updating it, you know, they'll update it all the time with new cars and new outfits and all that stuff, and they don't EA it, you know, they don't do an EA and say, hey, we've got some new cars, why don't you buy them with real money, even though you've already bought the fucking game, they don't do that, they just give you the stuff free, all the time, it constantly gets updated, and they're good that way. Uh, so that goes to number two, but number one game of the year for me, definitely, uh, is Metal Gear Solid V, The Phantom Pain. I was surprised I would put this at number one. I, I, I pre-ordered this one as well, even though I didn't like the la I didn't like any of the Metal Gear Solids after two. Now, after Metal Gear Solid 2, I thought they were just crap, I thought, rubbish, man, the story's all over the place, you know, and it's hard to keep track of who's who and what's what and what's going on and who's the good guy, who's the bad guy, who's she again, is she good, is she on my side, I don't remember, is this actually even Snow? is this Solid Snake, or is this Big Boss, or is that his son, or is that his clone, or, oh, for fuck's sake, I can't, I can't keep track, but when I seen the, the gameplay footage, of the Phantom Pain, I thought that look actually looks quite good. Looks like a really good game, so I got it. And and from from when I got it, I've just been addicted to it. It's just tremendous. Uh, there's a few bits here and there that are annoying, like you can't just go to the mission. You have to fly there in the helicopter, you know. And it's like, oh come on, you fuck, hurry up, you know. But apart from those things, the game is the stealth is brilliant, man. It's really well done. Um, the, the the little easter eggs here and there, the, all the different ways you can do the mission, it's basically, there's this mission to do, you need to go and get this thing, or you need to go and kill this guy, or you need to, uh, whatever, uh, do it whatever way you want, you know, and I love games, I love when games do that, do it whatever way you want, I mean even in the missions where it says, you have to kill this guy, you don't actually have to kill them, you can, you know, extract them, with your Fulton extraction device, which, I want one of them in real life, an infinite supply in real life, you know, so that we know it's not when somebody's annoying you, you know, or maybe you're standing in a queue and like somebody's in front of you in the queue and they're, they're just, it's, yeah, like I was in the shop the other day and this guy said, uh, have you got any of those charity badges to the women serving at the till, you know, they've got those things, you put the money in, you take a badge. And she looked in the box, she says, no, we don't have any, right? Because he could clearly see the box was empty. And I'm fucking waiting, right? And he and he's going, uh, but you had them the other day. Yeah, yes, but they don't have them now. Can you hurry up? When will they be back in? Oh, for fuck's sake, can't you fucking move? I'm trying to get served here. You know, that's when I would want a Fulton extraction. So I could go, oh, here, click, fuck off. But uh, I want them in real life. But uh, the, the game, the game is just, Tremendous. Too many weapons, to be honest. Too many weapons to know what to do with. I, mean, I just like the silence, uh, the tranquilizer gun. That's my favourite. The shotguns, machine guns, assault rifles. I too many, too much for me. It's just too much because I, I don't like killing people. You see in these games, and I'm like that, you know. I'm like, hey, I'm a good guy. What can I say? I don't want to kill uh, pixels, <laughs> but uh, I prefer to not kill people and take them into my my own private army, which is another good wee touch, you know, it, it encourages you not to kill people, especially the people who have high ratings, because you want to keep them for your own army, it's quite good, uh, so, number one game of the year, Metal Gear Solid 5, but I definitely recommend them all, Fallout Shelter, Fallout 4, Lara Croft Go, Grand Theft Auto 5, Metal Gear Solid 5, top five games of the year for me, easily, worst game, Batman Arkham Knight, fucking pile of shite, avoid it at all cost, Thank you very much for listening. Until next time. It's not like you can go, right, okay, 
I'll come back to this later after I've, after I've leveled up a bit, you know, maybe get used to it a bit more. No, you're stuck. That's you. It all saves. You're stuck in the mission, and the only fucking way out is to fucking do the mission in a fucking Batmobile with butter wheels that can't fucking grip for shit, can't drive for shit, and for some bizarre reason can't even go faster than a fucking tunnel boring machine. Fuck off, Batman Arkham Knight. Worst game of the year. Very frustrating. Anyway, on my top five favourite games of the year, right? Uh, in order, number one's the best, right? But number five goes to Fallout Shelter on the iPad, right? Or other tablet device that you may have, right? Uh, Fallout Shelter is just... It's one of those games... I don't usually play these kind of tiny tower games. I don't, I don't play games like that, but it was Fallout. I love Fallout. I thought, okay, I'll give it a go. It was free. <laughs> I'm Scottish, come on, give me a break. Uh, it was free, right? So I thought, oh, fuck it, I'll give it a go. And uh, I said, right, okay, let's see let's see what this is uh, at 2 o'clock. Uh, ah, that's, that's, that's quite good. Oh, look, it's midnight. Oh, dear. Where did the day go? One of those games, you know. Uh, and I ended up building a, a top-quality vault, uh, having too many fucking... Uh, Dwellers, to be honest, because uh, it started to slow the iPad down, you know, it's an old one. And uh, and I was really enjoying it, but it doesn't go any higher than top five for me because they fucked up. They done fucked up, right? They updated it, right? I go, oh, it's been on, right? Um, where uh, in previous Batman games, it'll be, say, there's three guys behind that, that wall. And it'll be right, okay, so I'll go under a vent or I'll go over the top in the roof or I'll crash through the window and I'll beat them up. No, not an Arkham Knight. No, no, no. There's three guys behind that wall. Great, how do I go about it? You need to get the Batmobile to break the wall down. Oh, for fuck's sake. Right, okay. Right, there you go. Right, I've broke, I broken the wall down. Right, now I can beat them up. No, 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 no. Uh, you need to remote control, use the Batmobile to shoot them with rubber bullets or something. It's, what can I get? I thought this was Batman. Wasn't this, isn't this game called Batman? Not the Batmobile. And it's shoehorned into every fucking mission. It would then go now. Oh, you need to go down that that uh, lift all the way down to the bottom. And there's a switch down there or something, right? Excellent, right? So we'll just go in the lift and go down or we'll climb down. No. You'll need to get the Batmobile. Oh, for fuck's sake. And you'll need to get the Batmobile to... Hook onto the lift and lower it down for you while you remote control it from the lift, you know, and and it's like, it, it turns like two minute uh, missions or, you know, into 20 minute missions. You know, go down and break those three fans. Okay, I'll, I'll do that. So how do I do it? Oh, you need to go in that room and pull the switch and that'll turn the fan off. Brilliant. So will I glide over? No. You need to get the Batmobile fucking off. For fuck's sake, man. It's just, it really ruined the game, and it came to this point where, uh, for some bizarre reason, you're underground, right? You know, one of those big, giant fucking machines you get to uh, bore holes under the ground, right? To bore tunnels, right? Uh, and you're fighting against the bad guy who's in one of those machines, and you're in the fucking Batmobile again. And, and the the mission, it's a boss, it's a boss fight. And the mission is you have to, um, like, outrun this big tunnel boring machine, which I've never driven a tunnel boring machine, but I know just with knowledge that they're slow as fuck, right? Not in this game, they're not. You're in the fucking Batmobile going at top speed. You look behind you, it's right there, right fucking there, and you can't get away from it. One touch, dead. So I, I came to this bit in the mission and I tried it about, and you, and you need to go through, you need to drive through these kind of, you know, loops and upside down and dodge all the obstacles and make the certain jumps before you can actually beat this guy. Three times you need to do it. Uh, and it, it's, it's just so frustrating because this machine, which should not be able to go over two miles an hour, seems to be able to go 200 miles an hour for some bizarre reason. Uh, even though you're in a fucking Batmobile, it can still catch you. Uh, right, so I got to that mission, I tried it probably about a thousand times before I wanted to uh, smash my computer up, and I, I haven't put the game on since. I didn't do it. I couldn't do it. You know, I just, I could not do this mission. And the thing about the game is, as well is, when you go into a mission like that to play together, and of course you get unlimited levels from other people, 
most of which are crap but you have to give a bit of leeway because you know that most of these levels are being made by children so you've got to give them a bit of a break but there's some good ones here but I can't really call it a game because you don't it's not like you get it and you can just go right I'll go from the start to the end done it's not like that you, you need to make your own levels but it's great it's a, a great game I would definitely recommend that for a family game you know definitely recommend that uh, the worst game right of the year uh, that came out this year all these games came out this year the worst game for me was Batman Arkham Knight right now I liked all the other the previous Batman games in the same in the same series I loved them actually fantastic right so much so that I actually pre-ordered Arkham Knight one of the biggest regrets of the year easily right um, the, the reason I like Batman games so much is it's the, the fighting's good uh, all the characters are in it the voice acting tremendous the music brilliant and basically you get to play as Batman right and it's just it's just great fun then Arkham Knight comes out and uh, well they changed it from playing as Batman to playing as the Batmobile which is shit it's, it's as if the wheels are made of butter it can't it doesn't drive very well. Uh, it's completely rubbish, and it's it's shoehorned into every mission to the point of frustration. Hi, thank you for listening. Uh, I want to do a, a quick rundown of my favourite games of the year. Why? Well, everybody else is doing it. Why can't I do it? But uh, this year has been mm, not the best for games, for new releases. I've actually been playing more emulator games you know, play, PlayStation 2 games and stuff. I'm playing Kingdom Hearts right now. Um, but there's still been a, a good few new releases that I liked, but most have just not really appealed to me. Um, so I'm going to go down. But first, I want to give a special mention for a game and my worst game before I go through my top five, right? So the special mention goes to Super Mario Maker, which just came out recently. Um, I can't really put it in my top five because it's not really a game. Uh, you make your own Super Mario levels, ranging from the first Mario Brothers to, I think it's the, I can't remember the names of them all, Super Mario 3D World, no, 3D Land, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> up to the one of the, the recent 2D Wii U games, and it's really good, it's great, uh, especially for parent and child, because I, 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 I do it with my son where... I'll make a level and say, right, see, you try and beat that. And then he'll make a level and get me to try and beat that. And, of course, his levels are usually really hard because he sticks rather than just putting one Goomba there. He'll stick 15, you know. <laughs> He's seven. Give him a break. But uh, it's a great game. Great game for um, crows and uh, for parents and children.